I am sure many people dream that they can have as much money as they ever wanted and never have to work a day in their lives. But if this is not possible for now, the next best wish is to be able to wake up every day and take a short walk to their workplace or perhaps walking back home after nights out with friends. For those living in downtown core district, this dream could be a reality. Hi, this is Alex Chua from Home of the Elites and this is our fifth episode of the series on the ultimate guide to the core central region. Our seven-part video series covers everything you need to know about the core central region in Singapore, including why it matters in the property market and a guide to all the key areas. I will also be using the acronym CCR to refer to the core central region for the rest of this video. If you are watching this video for the first time, you may be wondering, Alex, what is the CCR and why do I need to know about it? Well, make sure you check out episode 1 whereby we answered the most frequently asked questions. Episode 2 to episode 4 are our guides to districts 9, 10 and 11 within the CCR. We went more in-depth into the prime areas such as Orchard Road and Bukit Timah and the schools, amenities and new developments that property buyers need to look out for. We will add the link below so you can check them out. Make sure you also follow our Facebook page and YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you will never miss an episode. If you are ready, let's get started on today's video. In our previous videos, we covered districts 9, 10 and 11 which are referred to as the traditional prime districts of Singapore because for many years, they remain to be the crown jewels of the island for their central location and ability to command the highest price premiums. But things changed over the years and led to the emergence of new prime areas. In today's episode 5, we will cover the first of these new prime districts in the CCR, the Downtown Core. If you have not heard of the term Downtown Core, this refers to the Downtown Core planning area designated by URA or Urban Redevelopment Authority which covers the Central Business District also known as CBD, City Hall, Bugis and Marina Centre Zones. The CBD is further divided into seven sub-zones Phillip Streets, Raffles Place, Clifford Pier, Cecil Street, Maxwell Road, Tanjong Paga and Anson Road. I know this can be confusing especially when only certain parts of District 1, 2, 6 and 7 are included within Downtown. So let me help break it down for you. Downtown core extends until Ophir Road to the north, Victoria Street and Hill Street to the left, Shears Avenue to the right and the major expressway to the south. This means the neighbouring districts Marina South, Ortram, Clark Quay, Chinatown and Ben Coolen do not fall within the CCR. More than a decade ago, Downtown Core was known as Singapore's financial district, only filled by office workers by day and becomes a ghost town by night. But URA aims to introduce more live-in population in Downtown Core and reposition the district as a round-the-clock mixed use to not just work but also a vibrant place to live and play. There were 11,745 residential units by the end of 2020, which was a 40% increase within 5 years. Let's take a look at each key neighbourhood within the downtown core. First, we have City Hall, the epicentre of Singapore's cultural heritage and art scene. This neighbourhood is perfect for those who want to live among Singapore's notable historic buildings in the heart of Singapore's cultural centre near the cluster of museums and concert halls. Next, we have Bugis, a hip and colourful neighbourhood with a unique mix of old and new. Here, you will find hipster cafe and modern skyscrapers standing side by side with heritage buildings and shop houses. Marina Centre offers luxury waterfront living with sweeping views of the bay. This district is in high demand by working professionals and aspects who desire to live right next to the financial district with the iconic Marina Bay Sands or MBS at their doorstep. Last but not least, 
we have the Central Business District or CBD for those who want to experience inner city living steps away from their workplace. Now, the CBD is not just a place to work but also has a vibrant bar and restaurant scene and convenient access to amenities like shopping malls and supermarkets. For accessibility, it can't get much better than downtown core which is right at the heart of most major highways and MRT lines. You can get anywhere in Singapore with easy access to 4 MRT lines, 10 MRT stations, 5 of which are interchanges. There is Bugis, City Hall, Raffles Place and Tanjong Paga on the east-west line. Promenade, Bayfront, Marina Bay and Downtown on the Circle and Downtown lines. And Marina Bay and Shenton Way opening up access to the Thompson East Line. You can also easily access to the North East Line with Clark Key and Chinatown near the fringe of Downtown Core. While the Downtown Core District does not have as many primary or secondary schools compared to the traditional prime districts, there's easy access to many reputable preschool facilities, enrichment centres, higher education institutions, and international schools like the One World International School Suntec Compass, Singapore Management University, and leading art centres like Nanyang Academy of Fine Arts are just a stone's throw in the neighbouring district. Convenience and easy access to urban amenities are one of the top reasons the downtown core is such an attractive place to live. When it comes to eating out, you will be spoiled for choice. From the celebrities chef restaurants at MBS and trendy food enclaves around Purvis Street, Liangxia Street to long-term local favourites at Lao Pasat. Downtown Core is also a haven for lovers of art and culture. From the National Gallery to the thriving arts community in Bugis, Singapore's top theatres are also at your doorstep whenever you want to catch a performance or show. When it comes to shopping, there are limitless options from luxury designer brands at the shops at MBS to the eclectic homegrown boutiques at Bugis to the trendy shopping centres at Tanjong Paga. Whenever you need a break from the concrete jungle, you can also stroll or jog along the scenic Marina Bay waterfront promenade or take a walk among the super trees at the nearby gardens by the bay. In all our district guides, we will also cover notable ongoing or new developments that will interest residents in the area or future buyers. Since 2019, URA has introduced efforts to rejuvenate the downtown core and inject more live-in population for more round-the-clock life and excitement. The CBD incentive scheme provides incentives like higher plot ratios to encourage the conversion of older office buildings into vibrant mixed-use developments, including residences, gyms, food establishments and other creative lifestyle possibilities. URA's master plan also envisioned transforming precincts such as Cecil and Anson into lively urban neighbourhoods to support downtown living. City arcades along side streets in Cecil Street will offer convenient amenities along these shortcuts through buildings. Streetscape improvements in Anson Road will create a greener, mobile-friendly streets and link rail corridor to the CBD. More lively public areas will also be introduced to create a focal point for the community. URA will work with building owners to revamp Raffles Place Park to include more event spaces and cycling paths to inject more life beyond office hours. There are also plans to transform Robinson Road into a transit priority corridor with more space for bus lanes, dedicated cycling paths and wider pedestrian walkways with more space for greens and activities such as alfresco dining. In addition to the rejuvenation of the downtown core, URA's plans for urban transformation include transforming and extending the city towards the waterfront. The neighbouring precinct Marina South will be developed into a sustainable urban village with a mixed use of residential, retail and office users with amenities that will help serve the downtown population. The present downtown will also expand and blend seamlessly into the greater southern waterfront, which we will cover further in our next episode 
on the Sentosa district. We can expect that all these developments will contribute to the convenience and excitement of downtown living, which will make the downtown core even more attractive as a prime district to live in. That brings us to the end of the fifth episode of the Ultimate Guide to the Core Central Region. If you have any more questions about the downtown core or properties in CCR, you can contact us at 9780 0000. As always, we promise to give our honest and unbiased opinion. If you enjoy this guide to downtown core, stay tuned for episode 6, where I will cover the Sentosa district and notable developments in the greater southern waterfront. Make sure you follow our Facebook page and YouTube channel so that you will be notified the moment we drop the next episode. This is Alex Chua from Home of the Elites. Until we meet again, you stay safe for now. Bye.